we can use the LS Wing to control QLab via OSC. We also can use the LS Wing to get DMX output over the same network through the built in nodes on the back of the LS Wing. To begin, Connect your LS Wing on the same network as QLab. We'll also use the computer that we have QLab on to configure our LS Wing. To begin, let's turn on the Wing by applying power, and then we'll press number 5 if it's not already selected for OSC. After 30 seconds, the lights stop flashing, which indicates that the Wing has booted up fully. Now, you can navigate to the Wing's IP address, which by default, is 192.168.1.10 or the name lswing.local. You can configure either of these as you wish. Check out our overview video for more information on that. Once we're into the LS Wing's configuration, we can go ahead and turn off the OSC remote control. This is for controlling the Wing from other OSC devices, whereas what we're doing is the opposite. We're using the Wing to control QLab. Now, at the top of our screen, we'll go to Targets. We'll press the plus sign in one of the circles and go down to Figure 53 and QLab. Press the plus sign to add. Now, we can change the name if we desire and set the IP address to match that of our QLab computer. The default port for OSC and QLab is 53,000. But, of course, you can change that in both programs as desired. Now, let's map it. On the mapping page, we can press into one of the circles and press Edit to create a new mapping. Press Yes. Here at the top, we can change our name by pressing and typing, and then press any of the buttons or faders in order to assign the action to them. Press Add and then we can choose from the QLab options. In this case, I'm going to select a Go button. Now everything is configured correctly, and over in QLab I'll highlight a queue. I'll press Push here on the LS Wing interface or on the physical LS Wing surface itself, and we watch the queue execute within QLab. Once you've done that, you can go ahead Choose the rest of the buttons or faders that you want to use with QLab and add the actions you desire. Press save when you're done and then exit in order to have the mapping saved and configured. Now let's go to the node tab. On the node tab, what we're going to do is set up our DMX output. Looking over in QLab, we can go to the QLab preferences and we can see that we have the option for an ArtNet lighting interface. It's set to automatic by default, but for this case, I'm going to set my Ethernet adapter just to ensure that it works and goes on the right interface every day. Then, I can go ahead to my node settings here and set my IP address to be within the same range. When I press save, the wing will have to restart. So first I'll configure my two DMX ports for ArtNet and for two universes. I can then press save, restart the LS Wing, and I'll have DMX output. Enjoy using the LS Wing with QLab.